your mind. Amen. 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 Good to see my brother and his lovely wife here this morning. Brother and sister Watson, God bless the both of you for slipping in on me. Come in and check on us ever so often. We're always glad to see them. Amen. 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 God bless you. God bless you. In Psalms 46, homecoming day. Psalms 46. I'll be talking about a refuge for our soul. That's what I'm going to talk about. Think about that all this week long. I, matter of fact, I was studying Revelation and I, I looked at the sixth seal. I'm going to read a few scriptures from that. But Psalms 46 should have your Bible there. And don't have a whole lot from that. But, but it's enough, I believe, to get us where we feel that we got somebody for a refuge. How many of y'all believe that? Yes. You, you, you ought to have somebody for your refuge. Yes. Amen? Yes. Amen. Everybody there? Yes. In Psalms 46, verse 1, God is our refuge yes. and strength, a very present help in trouble. Yes. Don't y'all forget that. We're in trouble now. Therefore will not we fear, though the earth be removed, and though the mountain be carried into the midst of the sea, though the waters thereof roar and be troubled, though the mountain shake with the swelling thereof, Selah. There is a river, the stream whereof shall make glad the city of God, the holy place of the tabernacle of the Most High. God is in the midst of her. She shall not be moved. You ought to tell your neighbor, we shall not be moved. Amen. Amen. God shall help her in that right earth. The heathen raged. The, the kingdom were moved. He uttered his voice. The earth melted. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. Selah. Come, behold the works of the Lord. What desolation he hath made in the earth. He maketh walls to cease unto the end of the earth. He breaketh the bow and cutteth the spear in sunder. He burneth the chariot in the fire. But look at here. Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the heathen. I will be exalted in the earth. Sometimes you just got to be still. Amen. Amen. In Revelation 6. Amen. I'll read a few verses. Because... Thus we talk about the end times and, and when the seals are open, you and I should be already out of here. But I want to give you something to think about here. Uh, John writes in Revelation 6 verse 12, And I beheld when he had opened the sixth seal, and lo, there was a great earthquake. Sun became black as sackcloth of hair, and the moon became as blood. And the stars of heaven fell unto the earth. Even as a fig tree casts her untimely figs when she is shaken of a mighty wind. The heavens departed as a scroll when it is rolled together. And every mountain and island were moved out of their places. And the kings of the earth, hear what I want y'all to hear. And the kings of the earth and the great men and the rich men and the chief captains uh, and the mighty men and every bond man and every free man hid themselves in the dens and in the rocks of the mountain and said to the mountains and rocks, fall on us and hide us from the face of him that sitteth on the throne and from the wrath of the Lamb. For the great day of his wrath is come. Who shall be able to stand? That's going to be some horrible stuff, you yeah. Amen. We are experiencing what we call birth pains of the end days. We are not in the bulk of, amen, of the great revelation yet. But believe me when I tell you it's coming. So why we tarry, we need a refuge for ourselves. Psalm 46. We, you must have a refuge for your soul. Amen. Amen. You need to be anchored in Jesus. Yeah. Amen. You need to be so anchored that, 
that whenever you feel threatened or whenever you feel you can't make it, you can run, can I say, to the rock. Yes. Amen. Yes. He is known as the rock of our salvation. Yes. Amen. 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 And we, we, we believe that, that God is a great refuge. Oh, yeah. Matter of fact, I know he is. Uh, how many of you have been in trouble yes, uh, and, and had to call on the Lord? Uh, and it seemed like nobody would hear your cry. Uh, uh, yeah, but, but later on you found out that God was right there yes, all the time. Uh, what is that? Amen. He's right there, right where you at. And God knows what we need. Yes. And what a great refuge for our soul. Now, I don't know about you, but ever so often I feel abandoned. Now, I feel like, you know, I ain't got a prayer coming now. now but God always reassures me. Yes. I'm still here. Uh, it might seem like you got a storm in your life. Uh, it might seem like nobody cares for you. Uh, uh, but I want you to know that I care. Uh, if I didn't care, I never would have done what I did for you. Uh, am I right about it? Uh, if you didn't care for your son, uh, he never would have paid the debt on Calvary uh, for your sin and mine. Uh, is somebody with me to morning. <clears throat> a refuge for your soul is what we need in time like these. Uh, yeah, we in some terrible times, y'all. Uh, amen. Uh, sometimes people get obnoxious uh, when you tell them about Jesus. Uh, sometimes they don't want to hear about Jesus. Uh, but I tell you, I love the story. Uh, I love to hear about it all the time. Uh, because when I hear his story, that, you know what I said to myself? That, Thank you, Lord. There's another testimony. That, Thank you, Lord. There's another witness. That, Thank you, Lord, that somebody know you beside me. That, you know it's mighty good when you got folk know Jesus that, and on your side. That, are you with me? Today there's a growing satanic uh, antagonism, uh, praise the Lord. In other words, there's a growing hostility uh, from Satan toward you and I. Uh, yeah, and it gives us a warning. Matter of fact, Ephesians 16 and, and 10 through 12, and 2 Timothy 3, 1 through 5, it gives us a warning uh, of evil activities in our mission. Uh, just look around you. Uh, you see all kind of evil evil going on. Uh, uh, just this week when I turned the TV on, uh, somebody got killed. Uh, and then there was rape cases even in our community. Uh, you know, God is watching all of this. Uh, and when you feel threatened at night, uh, when you're in your own home, uh, you might feel threatened. Uh, but but can, I, can I help you solve your nerve? Uh, can I help you calm your nerve? Uh, it says in verse 1, God is y'all gonna catch that he is our refuge and look 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 he, he didn't say that any time he said in a very present help other words whenever trouble comes when you are threatened God is right there matter of fact nothing passed by God he knows all about you now, he knows what you're going through. Yeah. Oh, yes, he does. Now, no matter what we're going through, now, I believe God wants you to know this moment that, that he is for you. Yeah. Those that know him on a personal level. Now, you got to know him now. now. You got to have an acquainted with him. Now, you got to know him so well now, that you trust him with your very life. Now, am I right about it? <laughs> Look at here. I 17 says this. Now, when you know the Lord, verse 54, uh, no weapon formed against you uh, can stand or succeed. Uh, when you got God with you, uh, I tell you, you got somebody. Uh, and you got more than a mere man. Uh, you got more than the policeman. Uh, you got more than the army. Uh, you got more than some great other force. Uh, when you got God, on your side. Uh, he's everything you need. Uh, 
I'm in the witness here. Now, I know he is able. Now, I'm in the care, y'all. Now, but I tried him for myself. Now, and let me tell you something. Now, when I got down and out, now, I found that I wasn't down and out by myself. Now, he just showed up now, and showed up. Now. Yeah, look at him. Now, he's the source of your hope, saying that. Yes, he is. Now, in the face of trouble. Now, therefore, we will not fear now, what man might try to do unto you. Because God is your refuge. Now, I think about as I was reading how that Jesus walked to the foothills of Jerusalem. He looked at them with tears in his eyes. He said, oh, Jerusalem, why persecutest thou the prophet? Don't you know I want to pull you under my wing like a hen put a little chicken under her wing. You see, when those little small chickens are threatened, the old hen will spread her wings out. And Every last one of them, well, there's 10 or 15 of them, will run under her wing. And you can't see them. Don't you know God do you like that? Every now and then, when you feel threatened, feel getting scared, or feel that I can't make it, God just spread his wings at you. Then you come on in here. I'm able to shelter you. I'm able to protect you. Lord, do it. I tried to love it. And I know that he will do it. Oh, yes, he will. You just got to have him for your refuge. Well, what is refuge? Refuge means a safe haven. It means somewhere I can run to. Even if I got in trouble, I can run to Jesus. Yeah, we'll forget him. A little boy got in trouble one day. He was running from his enemy. And he saw an old man standing about a corner. He ran up to him. Said, hey, mister, can you protect me? The old man said, oh, yeah. I got your back. Just stand beside me. And whatever hurt, harm, or danger may come, I got you covered. Don't y'all know God is just like that. Because the enemy is on your trail. And he'll try all he know how to derail you. He'll try to make you feel bad. He'll try to intimidate you. He'll do it with words. Sometimes he may curse you. may call you out of your name. Somebody here, 
somebody in. Because the whole of the work of the law. What desolation he made in the earth. Don't you know God is still working? He's working right now. He's going to fix it out for a while. Yes, he will. I had to wait on the law. They had to wait on the law. Shepherd you. Uh, that sin. You got to wait on you. Uh, just have some patience. To wait on the law. And what God fix it. Exalted. As a matter of fact, a heathen will exalt the law. Why? Because he can't outrun God. He can't outdo God. He ain't got no more power. God said the heathen will exalt me. Why? Oh, when you run up against God, when you run up against Him, says, you run up against somebody. You run up against somebody that can't fool around. You run up against somebody that got all power. You got one that really got all. There's no other power greater than he. Where is he? On the inside, but he's in the world. So, a refuge for our soul. Mm -hmm. I want you to take that with you home. Meditate on it because that's the thing coming down the pike. You see a flood in this world where we got a lot of foreigners coming in. I thought about the other day. I said, I wonder how many of those required to get their shots. Nobody said anything about that. But we're making room for them. Come on in. I feel like they got very unrest over there in Afghanistan. Sure they do. But at the same time, why don't you start calling on God? Huh? Why don't they call on God? Maybe they think Muhammad is going to help them. Muhammad is already dead. Yeah. He ain't getting up no more until the resurrection. Yeah. But my God died and got up. Yeah. My God died and got up from the grave. And he still lives right now. So why would I call on somebody dead when they can't do me no good? But God can do me good. God here. Yes, he very present help in your trouble. Trust in the Lord. God bless you. Thank you this morning. Let you go now. Before we do that, I will ask for all the unsaved. Somebody may not know Jesus. I tell you what I just preached about now. You gotta have him. Amen. You must know him. You're gonna need him. Amen. It's gonna come a time, my sister and brother, that we're gonna have to check out of here. We're gonna die. Please don't die without Jesus. If you die without him, you're not going but one place. Straight to him. I don't know about you, but I don't want to go to hell. When I read over that in Revelation 6, that's going to become a reality. It's going to come one day when men will want rocks and mountains to fall on them. And you know what it said? To protect us from the wrath to come. Now, 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 now. If all this stuff going to happen, why would I depend on a mountain to protect me? Matter of fact, matter of fact, let me say this for those who God in the midst of her, 
Though the waters that were roar in trouble, though the mountains shake with the swelling thereof. Now, if these things gonna happen, why would I want them to fall on me to protect me? If a mountain fell on me in my human body, I'm gonna die anyway. Amen? And then on top of that, God is able to move mountains. My sinner man, my sinner brother, also. God can protect you even when mountains tremble and fall. <coughs> even when it seems like your mountains is already falling on you. Because hyperbole or hy in a hyperbole looking at it, you can think of a mountain that fell on you right now which is just imagination of your mind blowing it up some. A mountain can fall on you right now and if you got refuge for your soul, mm -hmm. that mountain will fall but so far but then it's got to stop because God is able to hold And God is able to just build a shelter around you. When you go through the waters, you won't worry about drowning. Come on now. Why don't you try a God like that? If you hear. If you hear. Don't put off the day for tomorrow. Except Jesus. Paul puts it very simple. <clears throat> Confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus, believe in your heart that God raised from death the Bible said, Thou shalt be saved. Romans 10 and 9. <coughs> and God can save you. Believe in your heart. In other words, I believe what you're saying. That God raised Jesus right from death. I believe that he got up from the grave. Because we have on record in our Bible. Then you confess with your mouth that I believe in his Lord. Watch God save your soul. Amen. Stand on your feet. The door. The church is open. Thank y'all for coming. I appreciate the audience this morning. Look forward to many, many more. Amen. Amen. Maybe you think about it this week. The Lord Terry lets you live. You can still call me. 434-248-6632. That's my phone number. Amen. And God can save you. I want to pray now for the sick and the shut-in. Yes. I'm asking a special prayer for Brother Ozzie Joseph. Deacon called me yesterday. He told me, he said, Pastor, Brother Ozzie, which is Pam, husband, and Terrence, Grandma, she died. I took him for a loop. I called him on yesterday evening. I said, I said, but Joseph, I heard about death in your family, but not only that, his aunt died in the same day, I believe. And so this guy, if you use the term, he's kind of tore up now. Two deaths in the same day. Mama died, then her aunt died. I don't know what was on the mother's side or on the father's side, but he got two people that's dead, and he's from Barbados, I believe, overseas. And he has paper right now that they're gonna close the country down where can't nobody go in. So that's a double pill to swallow. Everybody wanna be at mama's funeral. But I'm praying the Lord for blessing. I pray with it. And I hear him weeping on the phone. I'm almost weeping myself. I had to get off. Because I can't stand around men crying too much. Women as well. So I want you to pray for Brother Oz. Some of y'all know him as old Joseph. And then we got <clears throat> Sister Virginia Davis digging the shirt of Lovelace by the Hubbard. Sister Bernice Doozy, Elsie Hamlin, Augusta Davis, my sister Mildred Watson in California, Janice Cole, Elaine Brazil, uh, Mr. Jerry Davis, Brother Jerry Wynn. Preston Thompson. I understand he had death in his family this past week, I believe. One of his sons died. And it was Calvin or Melvin. Anyway, Melvin. He died.
to pray for Deacon Preston Thompson and their family. Sister and Mrs. Brother and Andrew and Sister Juanita Spencer, Glenn and Pam Miller family, Howard Thompson, keep praying for him. Mr. and Mrs. William Scott Sr., William Scott Jr., Deacon Isabel Robinson in Maryland, Miss Betty Harvey Sneed, Miss Mary Bowling, and certainly Miss Nellie Howard. I want to pray for these individuals today. Would you bow with me? Father, Lord God, I come this morning with a burden upon my heart. Yes. Death in our church family. Mm -hmm. Sickness all around. Yes. And God, I pray in the name of Jesus, Master, that I would please touch them. Touch, Lord. Whatever they stand in need of. Yes. Oh, Lord, my God. Mm -hmm. How excellent is your name in all the earth. Oh, the mountain were brought forth, even thou hast formed the earth. Mm -hmm. Thou art God. Yes. Everlasting, everlasting, thou art God. Master, I bow, praying for those that say, when you bow, mm -hmm. say a word for me. Yes. Less fortunate as well as the fortunate. Mm -hmm. Or are those that know you're not in the very part of every sin, mm -hmm. pray that I would even save a soul today. Mm -hmm. But oh Lord our God, as we bow, Lord, we pray for the strength of those that in some hospital room and even in some nursing home, yes. even on their sick bed. Mm -hmm. Lord, I beg of thee that thou would have mercy. Lord, and touch as only you can. You're the one that got all power. You got all healing in the hem of your garment. And, and God, I know you can touch as no other God can do. Father, we beg you now to have mercy. Father, bless those on this prayer list. Then God, I pray a special blessing upon Brother Ozzie Joseph. I, oh God, I pray that I would help him. Even in his hour of bereavement. Bless him so much, so God. Bless his brother as well. Pray that I would lift him up. Have him to know God. If you just lean and depend on you, you can make a way. Speak to his heart. Speak to his soul, God. And heaven know if he try you, you'll make a way. Out of no way. Thank you for what you're doing, God. And I thank you for right now. Pray for those in high places to make decisions affecting our daily life. Pray that I cause man to do what's right, pleasing. In your divine eyesight. Touch, oh Lord, in the White House and on the state level governments. Touch them, oh God. And Father, I pray for our children in our schoolhouses. Oh God, bless every bus driver, every teacher. Put your arms around them, God. I need you, Master, to just put protection on them. Keep them from the pandemic, oh God. Some of my young children are dying from, oh Lord, COVID. I pray in the name of Jesus that I would touch this man. Help us, oh God, in the sin pandemic. Father, I pray for every home, yes. every mother, every father. Amen. And oh my God, when the time comes, we can't stay here. We won't make it to the six seals, oh God. Amen. Lord, we'll wrap your eyes, but if you come before then, we know we're going to be with you. But while we can, if you call us in the midst thereof, I pray thou receive our soul in thy kingdom, where we would have that eternal joy. Peace, our God, rest in you. Father, this prayer is in the name of Jesus, beloved Son. Connect with others, our souls, as a man. Amen. Amen. Prepare yourself for dismissal. Now may that blessed grace of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, the love of God, sweet communion of his Holy Spirit, rest, rule, and abide henceforth and forevermore. Our souls, as a man. Amen. Amen. Until we meet again. God bless you.